Hello my dear students. Today let us learn how to write the VHDL program. Okay. So in the last videos we studied all the basic points about the VHDL and the structure of the VHDL also. What is the structure of the VHDL? So if the structure of the VHDL is begins with the library files, the entity and the architecture. Okay. In detail we studied all the things. Let us start today. How to write the VHDL program for the ARCAD. Okay. So this is what you are. So whenever you are writing the program means you should know the working of that digital circuits. Okay. We know that VHDL program is designed for to design the digital circuits. Okay. So in that let us today let us learn how to write the small VHDL program. Okay, first what you have to write? First you are going to write the library files. Next you are going to write the entity part and the architecture part. So before that you are seeing here one line that is called comment line. What is the comment line means in the program? So the comment line is nothing but that also we studied. That is a non-executable statement. Okay, using this we are going to write the name of the program. Okay, let us start how to write the VHDL program for the R gate. Okay, here I have drawn the figure 2 input R gate. Okay, this is a 2 input R gate. Okay, it contains the 2 inputs A and B and what is Y? Y is equal to A plus B. This is the output of the R gate. Okay, so let us begin here. So what I told first let us write the comment line. Here the comment line is nothing but name of the program. What is the name of the program? R gate. Okay, and you can say that 2 input or gate. In the bracket, I am writing here, the program is going to explain you the 2 input or gate. So, according to the structure of the program, first we have to write the library files. Okay, what are the library files means? Actually, what happens, this is even software we are using to execute the program. That the software is nothing but that is a combination of the library files. We have to mention here the first that we are going to use these library files to execute our program. Okay. So here we are going to use these four lines. Whenever you are writing the VHDL program means it should start with the four lines. Okay. But in the same way you should write the comment line. Actually comment line is the optional. For the understanding purpose we are writing the comment line. Okay, if you are not writing the comment line means what happens? We are unable to understand it is which program. Okay. So first let us write the four lines. What are the four lines we have to write? First is the library IEEE. All of you know the long form of this IEEE. Next you are going to write use IEEE. Here the dot is there. Standard underscore logic underscore double one six four dot r next you are going to write the same use i triple e dot standard logic dot a r i t h arithmetic dot r next we are going to write the same thing and it is unsigned dot r okay these are the four lines for every program it should be there okay this is nothing but what you are first part that is library files okay and next we are going to write the entity part. What is that entity part explains? That is a how many inputs and how many outputs in your program that you are going to declare in the entity part. The syntax and the working of that entity we studied in the videos. Okay. So if you are today you are not able to understand anything means once again you go and read that entity part. Now you are able to understand how to write the entity. Okay. I will tell you. So first uh, entity it begins with the entity and the name of the entity. If you want you can just refer the syntax of that entity. It begins with the entity, name of the entity and the is. Here entity and the is are the keywords. Okay. What are the keywords? Keywords are the reserved words. And next, this is whatever name of the entity. Name of the entity is user defined. 
User defined is nothing but user is written the name here. Okay. And this is the identifier. Remember that here there is no semicolon. After is there is no semicolon. And next it is we are going to write it as a port. Okay. Port is also the keyword. According to the syntax of the entity port. And next you are going to write how many inputs are there and how many outputs are there. So we are writing the program for the OR gate. How many inputs are there? A and B. And it is of here you take the colon. Afterwards you write the in is the keyword. And standard underscore logic. This is a one predefined data type. Okay. In is the of the data type standard logic. And similarly next to Y. It is of the type out and it is of the data type standard logic. Next to close the bracket, afterwards write the semicolon. Okay. And how to end the entity? Once again, end is the keyword. And next, this is the name of the entity. Remember that this name should be same as this name. Okay. And uh, so why I have taken R and G? Because R is a keyword. Keyword cannot be taken as a name of the entity or the name of the identifier. Okay. So, okay. Next let us, uh, let us learn how to write the architecture part. Okay. And uh, what is this? This is the your entity part. This is completes the second part of your structure of the VHDL program. Okay. And uh, next let us write the architecture part. What is the architecture part? Architecture part is going to explain you the function of the R gate. What is the function of the R gate? Function of the R gate is adding the two inputs. Okay. But uh, in the architecture you have to write. So once again you have to follow the syntax of the architecture. Syntax of the architecture is begin with the keyword architecture. This is also the keyword. And next you are going to write the name of the architecture. Okay. Here why I have written B, B, it means here I am writing the program for the behavioral model. So just I have taken behavior. This is also user defined. Any name you can take. Okay. And next half is a keyword and the what is that architecture? Name of the architecture of entity name. Which entity name you have to take? So what name you have taken for the entity? The same name you have to take here. Okay. And is is the keyword. Of is and these are all of the keyword. And this is the name of the entity. Okay. Next to begin of the architecture. Okay. You should write the begin of the architecture and this is what your end and the name of the architecture. In between the begin and end of the architecture, you are going to write the function of the program. What is the function of the program? Our function of the program is addition of the two inputs. How to write that? That you are going to write the output what we have taken. Why? And next, this is called the signal assignment statement. And next, we have to write A and R, B. So, why I have taken this R? We can't use that plus sign here. Instead of that, we have studied the operator is present, O, R. Okay, that R you have to take. Okay. As usual, next the semicolon. And next, end is a keyword. And next, this is the name of the architecture. Which name you have taken? The same name you should take here. Okay? Understood students? Okay. If you are not able to understand, means just you see once again what I told. Okay? So, let us learn now the next program. What is the next program? Means only now I want to change from R gate to AND gate, then what you are going to do? Just you think AND gate is nothing but this is also if it is a two input AND gate. All are the same except what is the work of the AND gate? If I draw here, 
This is the figure of your AND gate. Okay. Two inputs A, B. So, what is that? Y is equal to A and B. Good. Okay. So, here instead of R, if I have written AND, now the whole program is changed for the two input AND gate. Okay. Next, similarly, you try for the NOT gate. Okay. And next, three input R gate and AND gate. Okay. Hmm? Thank you students. Next, we will meet in the next class.